Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. Turn the bell on so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to check it out. I appreciate each and every one of you who always turn back to watch my videos. Like you know, I present news on daily basis to you. So after watching the video, you are free to criticize and leave your comment constructively share the video yeah you can share it to your family friends anybody that you can so that they themselves will be informed now i present to you another interesting or informative video which we are going to watch together yeah i'm going to watch this video together with you then we'll come to the comment section good morning our dear colleagues on saturday the 25th of February, fellow Nigerians turned out in large numbers to cast their votes in the presidential and national assembly elections. On behalf of our presidential candidates, Atiku Abubakar, GCON, and the People's Democratic, Democratic Party Presidential Campaign Council, we wish to thank all Nigerians, irrespective of their political affiliations, for turning up to vote for the candidates of their choice. We also want to commend the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the security agencies, and all other paramilitary forces for ensuring that the atmosphere of the election was peaceful. Having cast your votes as Nigerians, we earnestly expect the results to be announced. It is also our expectations that the announced results will be in alignment with the ballots we have cast. As a campaign, we expect nothing less. We have been following the trend of post-election activities, and it is our desire to reset certain wrong impressions being created to confuse the public. From already collated results data, we are proud to inform Nigerians that the People's Democratic Party remains in the lead in the election of last weekend. It's the same thing also in the spread we are certainly the only pan-Nigerian party today. We remain the only political party which has secured the necessary 25% spread across more than 24 states in the country. No other political party has been able to cross this essential constitutional requirement. As a matter of fact, we have it on credible grounds that our main opponent in this election, the All Progressive Congress Party, is currently mounting pressure in attempts to have their way in securing 25% in Imo State and the Boyi State in particular. It is on the merits of this intelligence that we are calling on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to apply all necessary precautions before announcing procured results in the presidential election from these two states in particular. Our presidential candidate had yesterday urged the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, to instruct coalition officers to upload results from the polling units to the INEC server to avert those results being compromised by a few governors of the ruling party who were shopping around feverishly for numbers to make up for their shortfalls. As we saw, the APC has not been able to meet the required 25% threshold and demand that INEC should not cave in to the pressures and desperation of the APC to bad itself in this regard. Similarly, we have it on good grounds that the APC is currently making attempts 
to show up some votes from Lagos. In fact, we just received a video uh, that shows this very clearly. We urge the Independent National Electoral Commission to resist this pressure being mounted on them, especially in Lagos Central Senatorial District, where the People's Democratic Party is in clear lead. We further urge the Electoral Commission to put substantial surveillance on Lagos State. The APC is doing all within its means to cheat in Lagos. Because without Lagos, there is no pathway whatsoever for victory. To the supporters of the People's Democratic Party, we want to say special thank you for the terrific work that you have done to put our great party on the path towards victory in the election. I joined politics in 1982, so which means I've witnessed so many political seasons. Whenever an INEC is telling you they have glitches, that is when you have to be very vigilant. Because glitches don't just occur when you have prepared for such a monumental election as the one we have right now. So when they talk about glitches, watch it very well. But the good news is that PDP is the largest political party in Nigeria. Our spread is second to none. We're number one. So we have our agents in virtually every polling unit. So there is nowhere you go that we will not have the direct results. So whenever they tamper with it, we shall produce the original results. Yes. Yeah, in, addition to the, in addition to that, um, our friend from AFP, please. In addition to that, what we know is that we are aware of the desperation of the APC and their, their goons. But we are confident that INEC will do the right thing and will fix whatever glitches may have occurred on their, on their system, you, you understand, and upload the right results. And that's why we've called on them, we called on the, our candidate called on them yesterday to make sure that all results are uploaded from the various centers because of the fear and desperation of the APC governors to deliver to their candidates who they know very clearly cannot meet the constitutional requirement of gaining 24, of getting a, um, uh, 25%. They spread 25 percent in 24 states. I'll tell you something for, for free. Apart from Southwest, apart from Southwest, where their candidate did well and, uh, and won in that region, no candidate can become president of Nigeria by just winning one region. And that's the only region they have won. As a party, we won, we won in the Northwest and in the Northeast. That is two regions. And we have in the Southwest as well as the South South. If you, if you watch closely, check the results. Where we are not first, we come second. So it's, it's practically impossible, mathematically um, impracticable for them to, to even lay claim to victory. But we are aware that in their desperation, all they do is to play mind games and set an agenda. That agenda cannot work because it's about Nigeria. It's about Nigerians. Nigerians have spoken. And we will not mention figures here because we don't belong to those class of desperate people. All we do here is to let Nigerians know, to let them be vigilant, open their eyes, and resist any form of manipulation. Thank you, Frank. Yes, and yes, please. Whether we are worried or not, we must still have faith in INEC. There is no alternative to INEC. So once you sign on, 
to contest an election, you must trust the umpire. And that is what we are doing in this case. What is clear to us is that APC has managed to control the Southwest, but they've been fatally wounded in Lagos by the Labour Party, fatally wounded, because they needed to win a huge margin in Lagos. That is now impossible. They have also been injured in Kano by NNP, NNPP. You don't understand. They needed to win those two places powerfully. We are leading in every other place in the Northeast and in the Northwest. So how are they going to do it? In the North Central, where they were also expected to do better, it is between PDP and Labour. Do you understand? So it is impossible for anybody to become president of Nigeria when in Lagos you don't have huge votes, when in Oyo we are getting 25 percent, when in Osun we led, when in Ikiti we are 30 percent. I'm just giving you the ones that we can mention now. So it tells you that we already have a path to victory. In Ondo State, we're sure that we will do reasonably well in Ondo State. Then when you go to the South-South, we're doing reasonably well. We're the only party okay, that has been able to spread across. The only place we did not do too well is the Southeast, and that is understandable. So which means in two regions in the South, we are very comfortable. In the three regions in the North, we are very comfortable. So how can anybody defeat us? It's impossible. Yes, thank you. Okay, you were going to... Yes, AP. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. Um, sorry, we were not live at the very beginning, so I would like to give you, if it is possible, to comment exactly what you are demanding and what is uh, the shocks with the IMF in general about the elections and about the situation, the irregularities and delay uh, in this election in general. Yes, we're demanding that the results should be speedily uploaded, speedily. Because the longer you delay it, then the more likely you are going to have uh, infractions. Number two is that we're particularly worried about a Bonny State and Imo State, those two places, because they have APC governors. The governors are putting a lot of pressure on NINEC. So that is our biggest worry right now. Once they are not able to change the original results in those two states, there is no way they can have 25 percent in 24 states. It's impossible. And the INEC, what the, I mean, you, you brought these concerns to the INEC, but what was the, its answer? Uh, we, are, we are waiting. That's why we're bringing it to the public domain. You know, INEC is extremely busy at this time. Even if you send letters, they are not. But with the media, their media team are also watching us, so they will be able to inform their people that PDP is very worried because we know that they did not do well. The Labour Party did very well in those places, and they should not alter the results. And what is the next step you will take now? Ah, well, we will leave that to higher authorities uh, from the party. You know, apart from next steps, the beautiful thing is the fact that the, both the international community, the international observers, and Nigerians, who are the real voters, those who cast their votes on Saturday for the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, you know, are the ones who keep putting the pressure, using the media, using all forms peacefully and within the ambit of the law. And we know that INEC will do the right thing. We know the security agencies will protect the votes, legitimate votes of Nigerians in Imo and Eboin because the desperation of the ruling APC is to see how they can amass, little, to show up their votes in those regions so that they can make up to their required 25% 25, 25 in 24 states, which at the moment they cannot have, they do not have, and they will not have. So it's about the people, and we know that with what we have on, on our plates, Atiku is the president in waiting. What, what we had expected is what every you know, other person, as far as the process of this election is concerned, what we had expected was as soon as the elections were over, the votes were counted, and then the coalition officer you know, had, had, a, you know, had a, a, you know, a result. The, the coalition officer takes a picture, a snapshot of the results, which is uploaded you know, to the INEC server immediately. And that was why when there was a, when there was a law, you know, in that, 
the presidential candidate of the PDP, His Excellency Atukabu Bakar, had to you know, instruct INET, had to you know, raise the alert for INET chairman to instruct the coalition officers to do the NATO. Because when you don't do that within a certain period of time, it either shows that there is a failure of technology or there is bad faith. You know, and that gives opportunity for the ruling party to go shopping. And that's exactly what you know, was happening for majorly most of you know, uh, Sunday night and you know, most of yesterday. But the good news for the supporters of, of, you know, of the PDP is that the Recover Nigerian project is on course. And whatever efforts that they have made, we have pushed back you know, on that. And INEC is also ensuring that you know, it, uh, it, the, you know, the, it, it, the results are better, the process is adhered to, and uh, ours is just for, you know, to assure our supporters that they need not be, you know, there is no cause for concern, absolutely not, that the Recover Nigerian project is on course, that it's only a matter of time before, you know, we shall begin the process of rebuilding, having recovered. Thank you. Next question. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Jules Ikoka. I work with this day. This day, okay. Sir, this matter is to help me and help me. Just like yesterday, Yaga uh, Africa suppressed a press conference saying that they sent out over 6,000 election monitors and that they will release their outcome. <coughs> You are getting my attention. <laughs> Just a minute, please. Let me respond to him directly. There can be nothing confidential when we are live on air. So when we finish this press conference, we can meet in my office, and then you and I can uh, we can have confidential conversation. But I want to assure you, as I said, it is very clear. This I can say on air is that in the southwest, APC has been fatally wounded in Lagos. They needed to have millions of votes. There is no way they are getting it. Labor put up a spectacular display in Lagos, and we must all salute them. That's why the fact that uh, we are not in the same party. In Oyo State, we did very well. In Ondo, in Ogun, in Oshun, in Ekiti. So it tells you that there is a pattern that we are the only pan-Nigerian political party today. Apart from Southeast, there is no part of Nigeria that PDP did not have a good showing. There is none. Only South South, where, of course, Obi got a clean sweep. Uh, so that's as far as I can go publicly. When we meet, I can tell you uh, we have our limousine offices all across Nigeria. Our party, you know, it made sure that the investment they made in all those places, now we are reaping it because they are sending us 
all the original documents from there. We have it. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, please introduce yourself. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. Um, yesterday, during the press conference, addressed a National Police Center and NHL, who was expressly clear that only resources that have been provided should be taken. APC has been laid clear, and here we are my good friend and brother, Frank. Well, the doctor said, I think we see the president in it. And as far as any is concerned, only resort to one state to make it go. Has so far been released. It, 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 of it is not true. Officially, only one resort from the kit has been released. And the operation center recommends by the level of the sun. I'm wondering, you know, where, what is the source? of this result that people are banding up and down. Could you please speak with him? Thank you. The same electoral law tells you that you are free to wait while the uh, votes are being counted. They did not say so. We have our, you can see that we've not given you figures. We only told you we're doing well. Don't we have a right to tell you? Did but I tell you we're doing well in Southeast? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say so. We said we are doing well. Extremely well. Extremely well. In Oshun State, we have a sitting governor, okay? Dr. Ademola Nurudin Adeleke, who has delivered Oshun State. We are doing well. I didn't give you figures. So we know where we're doing well. We know where we're not doing well. And when you compute everything, we can tell you that we are the first to cross the 25 percent in 24 states and we've checked on the others because we have our own records and we can see that there is no way they can cross that 25 percent in 24 states that's what we have said we have not declared any results have you heard anything from atiku abubaka he is a global statesman he is quietly sitting in his home and waiting for what God will do. He is not desperate. The only places where you had riots were in APC controlled states. In Lagos, in Kano, in Kogi. Did you hear that anybody carried gun in Adamawa State? No, the answer is no. Atiku Abubaka has never been desperate. He knows he has worked very well, and that is why we say man of destiny his time has come and we're very proud it will be a sweet story to tell of a man who never gave up on his dreams he never it, it is a it's a great story even for the younger generation that you have a man who started this journey i first saw him in jaws in 1993 when he stepped down for chief monchu dabiola 30 years after it is payback time god will compensate you if you don't give up on your dreams thank you Yes, please. I would like to ask, you have a situation room. What, what did you, I mean, when I say you, I mean the situation room. What did you observe regarding voting from uh, River State and uh, Delta State? And secondly, some political parties, I don't want to mention names of political parties. Some political parties are already calling for cancellation of the, of the election uh, results. Uh, some of the reasons they are advancing. <laughs> The, uh, the violence recorded in some states, particularly in the Lagos state. So much voter suppression and some other parts of the country. Will your party also subscribe to cancellation, if not the entire uh, result, in result from those states no. where violence is uh, really recorded? PDP will never jump the gun. It is like two women dragging a baby. I am the mother. Oh, no, you are not. The one that says kill the baby, I'm sure you, you must have come across that in the Bible. It shows that the person is not the mother of the baby. If at this stage some people are already calling for cancellation, then there is a big problem. And the problem is that if you are very sure that you are going to win, then why don't you wait? And then gather enough data and information 
before you start creating crisis. As for us, we are, it's a waiting game. And we're very patient, extremely patient. People, Atiku Abubaka is a very patient man. You can see his comportment. You can see his courage. We are not in a hurry to declare results, which I wait for INEC, no matter how long it takes, which I wait and wait and wait. Thank you. Yes, please. On rivers. Well, I don't have much to say about rivers. I know that some very desperate politicians, as usual, tried to cause commotion in the place, but uh, I think they didn't quite succeed. But I don't have the figures for, for rivers. No, we, we didn't. We, there is no, no release from me that said uh, APC is asking that they transfer our votes. We said we, they want, what they try to do is, that, is either to show up their votes or to find places where they can invalidate existing votes. So that way they can get the required 25. What they are after is the required 25 because without it, it's end of discussion. You understand? So it has nothing to do with, with us. Most importantly, most important, you see, we don't engage in, the, in this kind of game they are playing. So we will, we, it's not possible for us to, to tell you how they, how, they, how they go about it. But what they are doing, well, don't worry, don't worry. We're not, the, the statement uh, could uh, emanate from the PDP. That's not the problem. But what we are saying is simple, clear and unambiguous. There are steps in their desperation. They've taken steps and they are taking steps, particularly in a situation where they, 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 get your, they lock out your agents from a particular collation center. You should know that something is wrong somewhere. So you don't need the services of a clairvoyant to hazard a guess as to what the plot is, particularly Thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.